Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in the middle of nowhere here in Oman. In this episode I'm going to be experiencing the Bedouin culture here in the Omani desert. I'm heading deeper into the desert but I've already driven about two hours outside the capital Muscat. Well, let's go explore the desert. What, what is it? So this is Badar, he's going to be our guide today. This is your camp, right? Yes. How long have you been living out here? How many? It's a long time. We have been uh, moving a lot, but now we have to stay in this area. When is the last time that it rained around here? It's a long time ago, yeah. Many years ago. Many years yeah. ago, really? Yes, yes. Okay. So you're a Bedouin? Yes. And we're going to cook up some food today? Of course. Traditional welcome. food. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Very excited to be here. We're actually only about 30 minutes from the nearest store, so they can go buy water there, but it's really important that sometimes it rains because otherwise the livestock won't have any grass to eat. So you can see there's barely anything out here in terms of vegetation. No fruits, no vegetables growing out here. This is Badar's camp. I just climbed up to the top of this dune to get a view and there's nothing but sand dunes as far as you can see. A couple little Bedouin camps, but this is really authentic. This is as real as it gets and the sand is so fine and soft Man Look at this. Wow. So we're gonna see now uh, What the Bedouins like to cook and eat out here in the desert So we just got a fire going, some coffee, and seriously, it is so hot on the feet. I don't know, I mean, his feet must be like made of iron. Any more wind. This is hot for November? Yes. Yeah? How hot can it get here? In the summertime? Yeah. It's 50 degrees. 50 more, degrees? Yeah, sometimes more. Whoa. But it's also now with the winter, it's something wrong with it. It's not uh, so cold, so. Not as cold as it used to be. Yeah. Mm. yeah. A lot change. You hot? <laughs> yeah, super hot. Yeah, Badar was just saying that uh, even global warming is affecting out here in the desert. If you can believe it, it's getting even hotter than it used to be in the winter, like this time of year. It should be cooler. He said today is hot. <laughs> this is coffee bean with cardamom and zafaran. Okay. Normally we wait for the water is boiling, then we add it. Coffee with cardamom and saffron, yes. yes. It's Omani coffee. Yeah. Okay. Why do you put it on the sand like that? Uh, to protect the blade. Oh, to protect yes. the blade from breaking. And also to protect it to sit comfortable. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't fall. fall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Normally, this is our welcoming for the uh, dates with coffee. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Local Omani dates. Yes. Mm, sweet. Yeah. Yes. So this is with cardamom and saffron. Zafran, yeah. Yes. Wow, it smells yeah. really good. Good. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it goes good with the date. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank Welcome. You. <laughs> So this one is Orsia yeah. with what kind of meat? Uh, it's goat meat. Goat meat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to be cooking two different dishes. The first is Orsia, which is uh, already on the fire there. It's just got some salt water and goat cooking away and we'll add rice later. And the second dish is called Malbi. And we're just going to be preparing the meat now, spicing it up, I think. Omani masala, it makes spices. Okay. That's for the malbi? Yeah. Yeah. And this is a uh, curcuma. We must put only a little bit because with the charcoal it can be burned. Oh. So better to be careful with the masala. So 
So we just added some rice that's been soaking to the orsilla, and now uh, we're going to make some traditional Omani bread. You eat the bread with the malbi, the orsilla? Uh, it Every can day. be with the meat, yeah. it can be with the milk, it can be with honey. Uh, yes. Normally we use it as a dinner or breakfast. So to cook the bread, it goes directly on the coals and it doesn't take long. It's gonna beat off some of that coal, charcoal. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready? Yeah. Only two minutes. Yes. Yeah, all by hand. What do you call this? Gurs. Gurs. So we've dug a little hole in the sand and put some coals down in there and the orsia in that pot is actually going to go underground for a few minutes at the end to uh, finish cooking it. But our son, Sid, is only 12 years old. He just pulled up in the truck. <laughs> they start them young here in Oman. I think we're gonna start doing the Maldi next to the Hot Rocks uh, grilled goat. This is called Maldi, and it's sizzling away on those rocks. <laughs> those get really hot. Is this something you would normally cook, or is this only for like special occasion? Or? We yeah, for special. Special occasion. Sometimes, most of we like to, it's very special. Will you eat this in Ed too? Ed. 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 I don't know what that. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. Eid. 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 Yeah. Eid. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we eat and eat. eat. Yeah. Winter in Oman. I'm never coming here in the summer. <laughs> I think I was saying when we first got here, oh, it's not too bad. Oh, I changed my mind. Now it's about 1 p.m. And I'm just gonna sit here with my hand in the ice bucket. Oh, yes, that's good. Ice bucket with no ice. <laughs> yeah, there's not even ice in there, just water. Palm, yeah, part of palm a palm tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah, part of a palm tree to mix the orsilla, so kind of break the rice down. And what you you want to mix it until it's like uh, kind um, of like, a, sure. like a paste. Yes. Like, yeah, okay. Oh, there is garlic yeah. in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can smell. Yes. Can I try? We said uh, on Eid they will. The kids will want to do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody. Said also. Oh yeah. To do it. Oh, he'd probably do a better yeah. job than me. Hello, hello, have one. Heavy, huh? Yeah, it's harder than it looks. It's really thick. Kind of like haris, uh -huh. kind of, yeah? similar, yes. similar, but with rice. Ha haris is with haris, and uh, rice, I mean, I see it with the rice. Right, oh, okay. And I love how they're using the palm leaf too. 
to mix it so traditional and it's just planted in the sand so it won't go everywhere when you're mixing it because you really need to pound it. So the arcilla is finished. Look at it now. It's completely pounded down. You can barely even tell that that was rice. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it other than like mochi, but obviously this is savory. This is not a dessert. So shall we start? Yes, let's try. Okay, we're gonna try the RC. RC. How do we dip it in the? Yes, we make a small bowl. Yeah. Then dip it in the ghee. Yeah. Okay, yes. a little bit of ghee. Mhm. Mm let's try. Mm -hmm. The texture is really mm -hmm. interesting. It is kind of like mochi, to be honest, but it's got meat in there. A little bit salty. The ghee gives it a nice flavor. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and the second Let's try it with yogurt. a yeah, yogurt. yogurt. Okay, so yogurt with a little bit of black pepper on top. Mm -hmm. There's chunks of meat in there too. Goat. Let's try it with the yogurt. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some bones, huh? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it would be super flavorful, but <laughs> there's a lot of flavor going on in there. That's delicious. First uh, Omani Bedouin meal. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna try the Mobi, the grilled goat, and you dip this with honey. Yes. That is very interesting. Just like that? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Wow. The honey kind of cuts through the fattiness. Mm. A lot of smoky flavor in that Mobi from those rocks. Mm. <laughs> it's good with the honey. Let's try some of this. Omani bread cooked right on the coals. Can you dip this in the honey too? Yeah. Okay. A little dunk in the honey. Is this a local honey? Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm. Mm. Crunchy and really smoky. That honey is awesome. Very simple ingredients, of course, but really the flavors are stronger than I was expecting, especially this orsia. Like the texture of this and then they sprinkle a little bit of ghee on top. There's tons of meat in there. And you can go for a little dip with the yogurt, some black pepper. What a cool experience. The cooking method is so unique. It really produces a flavor that you can't otherwise have. That one's my favorite. That was really good. Interesting texture. Is it too much dipping? There's some bones in it, little pieces of bones, so be careful. Mm. Good? Mm. We have a little visitor. I guess they call them a uh, uh, sand fish. We'll let her go. Watch how fast she goes. Watch this. I love how Badar and his family are really preserving the Bedouin culture because as he was just saying to us, everything here tries to push you to the city. Everything, the heat, the dryness, it hasn't rained in years. So it's really harsh conditions out here, but they love it, so they keep doing it. If you guys want to actually come visit Badar, you can book your travels through OOT. Uh, I'll link them down below. Quick stop to feed the goats. Let's keep going. We're gonna go see the camels next? No, yes. Okay. making 
some friends. Hey, buddy. Hey. Wow, they're huge. Oh, give me a little kiss. Oh, your breath stinks, man. You should brush your teeth. <laughs> so these are Badar's camels. He just fed them. They are huge. I don't know if you can tell. Look at how huge these guys are. So beautiful though. And like friendly. Like they're, they're not they're not scary. They're just huge. Big gentle giants. That's amazing. Can I ask you a couple questions for the Chopstick Travel Vlog, please? Well, it wouldn't be a true desert experience without a uh, couple camels. <laughs> These ones are the best. What do you think of the desert in Oman? <sighs> I like it a lot. Seems hot, but then after 2 p.m. it's getting colder. Yeah. So the sun is setting here in the Omani desert. I just had a crazy experience. I'm not going to get into too many details, but basically one of Badar's uh, camels had a baby just two, three days ago, and something happened to the camel, and it just died right in front of us. It was heartbreaking. Honestly, I feel terrible for Badar because that's his livelihood. That's worth a lot of money. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into any details, but seriously, so sad. Other than that though, incredible day. This is a beautiful country, a rich culture. I loved the Bedouin food too. So make sure if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye.